Rolls as well. Just welcome back to another Musical People of Journeys, our new album rock review show. Welcome to our panel, to Dom, to Trish, and to William. Good Hello. morning. Uh, Simon's supposed to be with us today, but he's not well, so go get well soon to Simon. Um, and what's the show all about? We are reviewing the latest rock albums, um, newly released from August. Um, of which there was a phenomenal amount of them, uh, which we couldn't leave on there. So this month, we're actually reviewing 20 albums. So please go to and smash that like button, smash that subscribe button, check out our channel. Um, and uh, what have we got today? Well, we are reviewing um, uh, Filter and their album, The Logarithm, and Hot Milk and Call to the Void. <coughs> um, so um, um, let's start then, shall we? Who, well. Who are they bands, first of all? Lost my thread there. So, um, uh, Filter, um, they are from Cleveland, uh, Ohio, in the U.S. of A. Um, I'm trying to find my page here. Uh, Filter's an American rock band formed in 93 in Cleveland by singer Richard Patrick um, and guitarist and programmer Brian um, uh, Lischgang. Um, the band was formed when Patrick decided to start his own band after leaving Nine Inch Nails. Ooh, pedigree, pedigree. Uh, as a touring, as a touring guitarist, the debut album uh, "Short Bus" was released in '95 and ended up going platinum, largely due to the success of his single "Hey Man, Nice Shot." After the album, the band would go through first of many lineup changes, leaving Patrick the only consistent member across all releases. Righty. Um, so, uh, filter then. Uh, Will, let's start with you. Um, is this a band that you'd heard of before? And uh, what do you think? Mm. Did it do the math for you, the algorithm? Uh, I'm not going to acknowledge that with an answer. Uh, <laughs> I was, I have I, I, never, can I just say I was counting on that? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, dear. Um, no, I have never heard of uh, this artist before and this band, but I had a, a quite enjoyable time. It's uh, quite a fun little mix out of hard rock, industrial, and electronic. But uh, I think it's uh, a nice little merging. You know, what if Ramstein was English and a, a bit less weird and heavy with <laughs> very, very strange lyrics? We don't talk about what they actually say. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's, it's like an American, you know, equivalent. Not, not quite equivalent, but, you know. It's, it's cool. It's a it's, uh, good, solid... Punchy instrumentals, but not at the same time. No, it has that. Like, it goes from the big aggressive like, duh, 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 to like a more mellowy electronic bit. It. It's you know, this is an interesting album, and uh, compared to a lot, of, it's very different to uh, everything else we've listened to this month. And I think for me, that's uh, almost artificially raised up because it's it's you know such a sort of like a unique sound to me. This is. Enjoyable, fun music. Ooh, talk about somebody who's enjoyable and fun and absolutely out of this world. Trish! <laughs> Thanks. Hey! Um, the album starts with the dark, mysterious The Drowning, which towards the end has sirens and the guitars intensifying to tell the story. The vocals on this album are quite gravelly, but in a good way, as you feel he's putting his heart and soul into, into it to feel the lyrics. I really love the song Obliteration. The guitars and drums in sync with each other so you can feel the rhythm and then hit you full blast in the chorus, as do the lyrics. This song could be a bit of an anthem if they play a concert and will have the crowd bouncing along. But I think Face Down and Be Careful What You Wish For are my favourite as they begin with beating drums at the beginning of each verse and then the guitars adding that extra hit in the chorus. These are bangers of tunes. This has all the correct calculations, which has made it an awesome album. See, William, see, <laughs> see. It Quality. Works. It works. <laughs> um... Right, uh, we, uh, Dom is looking like a ghost in the machine at the minute with his internet connection. Uh, so, uh, uh, but yeah, oh, he's coming back. He's coming back. Uh, we might get you to change your background for some reason. It seems to be blurring you quite a bit. But anyway, we'll do that in a bit. We'll do that. We'll do that. We'll do that in a bit. Let's find out then, because I'm counting on you here. Counting on you. Will will is this all add up to a great review? Let's find out. Oh. <laughs> Well, yeah, in the sum of all things, 
there is the filter. They are they are like and they are like a sum of all of like nine inch nails. Uh, obviously the lead singer came from that band. I heard a bit of tool in there maybe, that kind of yeah, um like big sound, like um serious intense vocals um and like kind of wide ranging noise that you get from tool one of my favorite bands with a funky name and now barton they uh i'm just just dropping them for you today they are um i can hear a bit of that with the industrial stuff and this is actually where my my heart because metalcore kind of came along when i was uh um a bit older so my roots as a teenager when i was when i was will's age it was all about industrial alt rock. It was all about that kind of hard stuff. And filter is like proper nostalgia in there. I did read that they've been recording this. They started recording this album in 2018, so it should be good. They've been spending five years on it, so they mean <laughs> it should be good. I think of all of the ten albums that you threw at me, this might be my favourite. Might be my favourite this time. Ooh. Spoilers! Ooh, spoiler! Rumble, dumble, dumble. What is that? So interestingly, um, I can't tell you why I love this album. D -d 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 I can't pick any one thing out as to what what made this album so good for me. I, d I haven't got a list of um, the, the tracks that Trish has meant. Yes, but I haven't got a list of like added tons of their music to my cool playlist. But as an album. I thought it was absolutely fantastic. I just, I, I, I kept listening to it. You know, you just keep going back and back and back, and it was absolutely terrific. It really, really was. I think it was just such a mixture of lots of different things of industrial and metalcore, and brilliantly executed. And and yes, you could tell they've been working for this for five years. Productions as is phenomenally good. Um, it was just a thoroughly enjoyable album without. Uh, you know what? Uh, you know, for me, standout hero tracks. So I keep going about and go right. Oh, we've got to add this. I've got to add this. Just a fantastic album. Really enjoyable. Loved it. Thoroughly enjoyed. It. Just, just. Uh, you know, I think uh, I'd only be repeating everything that you guys have really said in terms of uh, the type of music and stuff in there as well. But what a great mixture. You know what I like? I love. I love an album that kind of gives me bits of everything. You know, um, without being too kind of over the top but I, I, I just loved it i thought it was absolutely terrific so really good cracking album cracking album so uh let's wash that down with a bit of hot milk shall we um and let's find out a little bit about hot milk uh, because we all do like a bit of hot milk let's face it so uh the album is called call to the void um now we see we started the year predominantly based in scandinavia but we've circled back and then we went a lot of bands for the US, but coming out at the minute is bands from the UK. And these guys are from, uh, they're an English uh, pop rock band based in Manchester, formed in 2018 by singer guitarist Hannah Hand Me and Jim Shaw. The group is known for his genre blurring and for his lyrics that often sound, address social and political issues. Signed to the British indie label Music for Nations in 2021. They've released three EPs and released their debut solo album, which we're reviewing, Call to the Void. They've toured with acts including Foo Fighters, You, Me at Six and appeared at Download Festival and uh, Lola Papadossa and have received radio play from BBC One Radio 1 and Kerrang! In addition, they've been noted by Alternative Press as part of a new wave of artists in the Manchester music scene. So, now, before you go to bed, um, Trish, do you like a little bit of hot milk? Or do you like to wake up to a little bit of hot milk? Or would you like hot milk for your lunch? Tell us. Tell us. Your love of hot milk and this band. Well, it used to be Horlicks back in my day, but did it? We used to put a bit of hot milk in it. Called Horlicks yeah, before, right. but we'll go with it. Ovaltine. More that either. Oh my god. Okay, I'm obviously showing my age here. Okay, so the album opens with "Welcome to," which starts off slowly with gradual gradually introducing the instruments and the vocals with various questions being asked like I'm I like am I the darkness and then it drowns out and stops then you're hit with horror show which is fast paced and the song itself without the guitars and the vocals 
all have a similar sound akin to Billie Eilish to me, which isn't a bad thing by any means. I love the track Alice Cooper's Pool House. This song made me smile. This album is like hot milk. It hits all the right spots when you need it to. It's a relentless, full-on, fresh rock album to be enjoyed by everyone. Dom, did you enjoy it? Did you like a bit of hot milk? Do you like to sip some hot milk? Or <laughs> through a straw? Or... Milk. <laughs> <laughs> However you want to give it to me, Nigel, I'll take your hot milk anytime you want it. <laughs> 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 I mean the album, obviously. That's well, all. Obviously, I'm, yeah. obviously. Yeah. <laughs> well, we'll have a chat later. <laughs> we'll have a chat later. Okay, fine. Um, yeah, this was great. I mean, the obvious comparison is Paramore, right? That's where. Uh, that's immediately where I went. You know, female singer. It's that emotional pop, um, emo pop kind of thing. Um, I thought it was great. Horror show, what amazing. Um, they take it places that Paramore don't, I think. Um, so there's some originality there. There's a bit of EDM dance music in there, feels, electro pop, definitely. Um, and the energy was, yeah, I mean, it's Paramore energy taken on even further, I'd say. This is their first album, right? Um, and you know these guys are just going to be amazing they're going to be cool maybe this was my favorite album of all the 10 that you gave me nige have you gone to put the milk on ah, is that where yeah, you're going it was but it was spilling over it was <laughs> you're spilling muted over. i can't hear you Jack. i know uh, sorry the hot milk was spilling over uh there was somebody banging on the door and so i just had to shut the door my apologies but carry on oh dear I heard yeah <laughs> yeah you know this band is going to be uh amazing really i think they um it's just full of energy, some originality in there, taking it in new places. Um, yeah, maybe this is my favourite. Who knows? Now, being the youngest of the of, of the the entourage here, um, and being the innocent boy that you are, um, do you... I know, right? Hot Milk, <laughs> then. Uh, let, let's be nice. Let's go... Let's call it the void and the band Hot Milk, uh, William. Uh, did you enjoy those? Um, I was supposed to learn to dabble in Hot Milk. And how do you? How do you? Oh, this was... Yeah, this was a really, really good album. I Basically, a lot of what uh, Don was saying. So I agree. It's like... It is like if Paramore started today, but rather than taking more influence primarily from pop they did it primarily from heavier stuff oh you know what i've got to do now you know, with songs like horror show mm -hmm. and uh over your dead body or, uh, yeah, pretty good track. however i really don't like when people release albums with all the words in capitals it really <laughs> annoys me it's really obnoxious mm -hmm. um obviously it doesn't take away from my listening pleasure as we are reviewing for um, but this is really cool. It's uh, my favourite thing actually is on Spotify. They have interesting on the right side of the screen. It tells you a little summary of the band, and all it says is emotional rock from Manchester. <laughs> and uh, I mean, this made me feel many emotions, primarily joy. I feel, uh, yeah, it went through. It, this album takes you to so many places. You know, heavy, more poppy sounds, electronic -y, like like what Dom was saying. It's just, it's taken all these different elements and it's it's made it work in one album, which that's honestly such an impressive thing to have all this different, you know, source and different genre. But this is cool. Milky. Milky. Milky, 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 milky. milky, milky. Well, guys, uh, uh, I didn't know. No, and do you know there's certain music, the waves that passed you by, and, and I've reflected back and I've you know I've missed out on things like metalcore and stuff and industrial metal, which I, I've really enjoyed kind of getting into and stuff as well. But one of the one of the the, the little traits that I missed was things like Green Day and, and Blink One Eight Two, and 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 when I listen to it, I just get bored. I, I just I, I find them very very kind of samey, and I disagree with that. I don't, don't think Hot Milk are anywhere 
in the region of Paramore. They are definitely in the re in the range of Blink One Eight Two, Green Day, that sort of ilk. Heard it all before. Didn't find anything original with this band. Didn't really particularly like it. Um, yeah, there was some there was some okay tracks in there. It wasn't it wasn't a terrible album. But for my personal listening pleasure. It didn't take any boxes for me at all. I just like one or two listens, didn't want to listen again. Thought I'd heard it all before with the likes of uh, Blink-182 and Green Day. Um, and I think um, uh, my daughter, who's now just gone to university, it, um, she got given uh, like a, a whole bunch of kind of Green Day kind of albums. Um, um, and uh, Trish's uh, husband was... was um, was at fault for that, and we kind of listened to one or two, to one or two or two or three albums. It was just like, you know, what's all the same? And I felt this was this was in that that sort of genre. I, just, I didn't didn't really float my boat at all, really much. I'd say solid enough if that's the sort of music you like. But for my listening pleasure, no, nah, no, nah, not my cup of tea. Um, and uh, I'm going to stick to cold milk. Um, it, 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 it is my analogy on that one. So. Sorry to say, oh, sorry for a bit of a Debbie Downer on that one. Um, let's find out then. Uh, let's get to the ratings. Filter versus uh, Hot Milk. Who will come out winner? Let's start then uh, with you, William. Um, uh, filter. Uh, let's say a 3.5. 3.5. Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, Trish? 4.5. <sighs> Big scores from uh, big scores from Trish and uh, Dom. I'm going to go four point five. Four point five. Wowzers, guys! Uh, it's also four point five for me as well. Bang! Welcome to the Hall of Fame to um, to filter and uh, and uh, call to the um, sorry. The, it all it all it all came together. The equation. Uh, came together for a perfect analogy there. They've they've scored nine, thirteen and a half. They've got another seventeen. Big score, big scores, guys. Um, so very, very, very good indeed. Um, okay, let's go to hot milk and call to the void. Um, William, four and a half milks out of five. Milks <laughs> out of five. Um, Trish. Um, I think I'm going to milk this. <laughs> Make it hot. Four. Four from Trish. Okay, and Dom. Not quite the cream of the crop. I'll give it four. Four. Okay, <laughs> Love it. Love it. <laughs> well, sorry to um to put that down on this one. Two point five for me. Sorry. In the middle. Sorry. Um. So eight. perfectly solid. Yeah, it's respectable still, it's still, average. It's still twelve yeah. and a half, fifteen. Another really cracking score. Didn't quite make our Hall of Fame, but still a cracking score. It still might. You never know. But for now, it's not in there um, on that score as well. So, right, okay. Well, it looks like I would buy filter. Trish would buy filter. Will will buy hot milk, and um, and um, and filter would also win it because Don would also buy filter. So congratulations to filter and the uh, album uh, logarithm. Uh, welcome to our hall of fame. Um, what a terrific, terrific album um, on that score. Thank you very much. If you uh, if you enjoyed the show, please like and subscribe. Please leave your comments if you agree or disagree. Um, they're all very, very welcome. Please share. Go to our Facebook and please share. Um, and check out all our wonderful interviews. Lots of really cool up and coming bands. Lots of really exciting things to come. Um, and thank you to my crew, to Trish, to Dom and to William. Bye. Goodbye, everybody, and thanks for listening, and thanks for joining, and uh, with cliche out of hell, because we know we like a bit of cliches, uh, keep on rocking. Keep on rocking.